out at the registration table. That way we can get everybody here as quick as possible. Are we ready, counselors? Go! exciting about this camp it's the only one I know of in the entire world you know but I'll just go with the United States right now is the kids as you know didn't have to pay to come to camp and it's an opportunity for them to be around other kids that love their art form just as much as they do and learn from each other and learn from maybe a different teacher and and be responsible for their lives <laughs> You're gonna take your luggage, take it to a cabin. There's two girls' cabins, there's one guy cabin. Put your stuff on your bed, go to class. This week we're doing paper mache sculpture uh, masks. We're doing Venetian inspired masks. We're also doing oil painting, acrylic painting, and watercolor. We have a pretty intensive day where we're spending the entire day from morning till evening doing art and we get to focus on our art. We don't have to worry about food. We don't have to worry about anything, um, anything interfering with it. No distractions really. choreography, Afro jazz piece, and a lyrical contemporary. Parents, your children are very well behaved. They are having lots of fun. They love dancing. As tired as they are, they want to do it all day, so you left them in good hands. One more time. Lots of energy. Tongue the second. One, two, one, two, three. Yeah, we're going to be concentrating on swing music uh, primarily, and we're going to work on improvisation. Two of the tunes that we're doing are 12 bar blues progressions. We're going to talk about the blues scale and the Mixolydian scale and the changes uh, between uh, the one chord and the four chord. There are only three chords in blues, so we can work. That is a great uh, platform for teaching improvisation. One, two, three. <laughs> As usual, we spend a lot of time working on sight reading that's often overlooked during the school year. So we have about 60 songs that we may try to read through all of them. Um, working on basics, scales, intonation, articulation. Some of them needed to work on improving their posture and their hand positions. Yeah, we are very lucky in this district to have this experience of camp. And I don't know of anywhere else that this occurs. And this intense training that they get throughout the week is an eye-opener for some of them. They never realize how much they can learn in a short amount of time. Smooth it out. Ta -da -dee -da -da. We are doing a lot of sight reading of music and uh, as we sight read we get ideas of what songs will fit this particular group and we get to learn how to make incredible music together. The beauty of music out here with the beauty of nature. Um, we just have been having a great time. The kids have been 
so good at uh, following instructions and wanting to learn and try something different. We must play eight hours or more a day on our instruments. One, two, three, one, two. My name is Fred Sanchez and I'm the mariachi instructor and I teach at Sweetwater High School and National City Middle School. Uh, they're, well, they're, they're learning every year, I teach them, uh, they're doing a song, they're doing a papango, they're doing a bunch of boleros. They're very well behaved and, and they're improving a lot, so I'm, I'm very happy and excited to see that they're improving. Every day I see them sound better and better. I know that you know, it's a great opportunity for kids to come and learn uh, not just what they learn in school, learn other skills and also get to work with other students from other uh, mariachis and other programs and that really builds a camaraderie between the schools. My name is Eduardo Romero and I'm the uh, Ballet Folklorico instructor for Chula Vista High School and Castle Park High School. This is my second time coming to the summer camp here at Cuyamaca and I'm very excited to be here. Right now I have 12 students in my program. We're on the third song from Tamalipas, uh, Tamalipas Huapango, and that's what, that's what we're going to show on Saturday. They also learn one song from Calabaseado, that's the north region of Mexico, and also two songs from Guerrero, the central uh, Mexico. Besides working on, on a major project, which is Tamaulipas, for Saturday, they're also learning different stuff, a little bit from, from different states. Thank you for allowing your kids to be part of this program. It's a really fun experience, but it's also very educational for them. Hi, I'm Debbie Nevin. Um, I am this year's summer camp director. Um, my day job is I am the arts facilitator uh, at Chula Vista High School. We're having a great time. Thank you for sending great kids. Everybody is expected to be everywhere before anything happens. So at, at mealtime, they all line up by the same table. Nobody goes in until they're all here. They go in, there's a person responsible to set up their table. Another person um, brings the food to their table. They clean up after themselves. They clean the table, they push the table aside. It's, it's pretty remarkable.